Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and in this video, we're going to install these strap adapters along with this bracelet. Uh, I'm going to try to size the bracelet as well, but the main purpose of the video is to install these strap adapters. And uh, this bracelet was uh, donated or sent to me by this company here, Shang Puli. I guess is how I would pronounce that. And also they agreed to send over a second set. So I will be giving this away. Uh, go comment on my previous video where I do the unboxing and um, that will be the giveaway video as well. So two sets, thanks for them for sending that out. And I'll have a link in the description uh, to the, uh, Am well to Amazon, to this product in Amazon. So let's use the tools that they provided to install the strap adapter and we'll see how that goes. So you need to take off this ring here uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here just removing this screw so I might pause the video just so you don't have to watch me moving the same screws. So there's the one screw out. Let me pause the video and then I'll come back when I have all three, uh, the rest of the three screws removed. All right, so that worked well enough. Didn't take me too long, but uh, just figured I'd pause the video for the sake of your time. So remove that ring there. And then these straps should just pull right out. There we go. Probably should clean that, but uh, we'll just put the strap adapters on here. So now it looks like a hockey puck. I bet you I could take a nice smack from a hockey stick and probably be uh, just fine. So anyway, let's remove the strap adapters from the bracelet. We do have this quick release pin there. It's not captive, it can fall out, so be aware of that. It doesn't really matter which one you put where. Let's make sure you put them on the right way, which I don't think it's really possible to put them on upside down. So a little loose of a fit, but the screws should hold it in place. Yeah, uh, not too bad at all to get that on there, in there. A little side-to-side -side movement there, but I think once we get this ring back on and screw it in, it'll be just fine. Wipe that off on my sweater, I guess. All right, let's get this back on there. So again, I think I'm gonna show you every screw getting screwed back in. The screwdriver is a little small, but it still works. Okay, I just like to screw the screw backwards so I hear the click and then uh, go ahead and screw it the right way. A righty tighty, lefty loosey just to try to prevent the cross threading. So then we'll go over here, which I call kitty corner, but I guess some folks call it catty corner. Diagonal, how about that? Can't really torque it down too much with this little screwdriver. What did I do? Well, I did something wrong there because the holes aren't lining up. Well, that's interesting. I didn't think it mattered which way this thing went on. So, uh, lesson learned. Pay attention to your holes here. Make sure they line up. Well, that's interesting. Surprised the one's diagonal went in then. Okay, so now they are lining up. So uh, 
be aware of that. I had it uh, off by 90 degrees. This is how I had it. So you see the hole there is not lining up where this one is. So uh, be aware of that. I had a 50-50 shot at that and I messed it up. All right. So yeah, this time I will just uh, show you the one on camera and then the other three I'll put in off camera. Okay, we'll be right back with the rest of the screws installed. All right, all the screws are installed and the strap adapters feel nice and snug, uh, not moving at all. So tightening down those screws took care of that little bit of slop that was in there, uh, which is fine because then they're easier to install. So let's get the bracelet on wrist and then I'll size it as well. I don't know if it matters which, well, it doesn't matter which way is up and down, but not really for the video. So let's just put it on this way. So 24 uh, millimeter lug width on this, and it's already a big and heavy watch, and the bracelet's uh, pretty weighty as well. So if you like that type of thing, then uh, this will work well for you, and looks like I did put this on upside down. So you know what, let's get this sized, I'll show you how it looks right now. I have a really small wrist too, six and a half inch wrist, so I'm sure it looks pretty comical on my wrist right now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to remove all of the links. Yeah, let's try that. And you know what? Let's use this tool that they sent. You can either use this one's a little difficult to push down with. So let's try this thing. I usually just use a block in a little hammer deal. That's how I usually size split pins with the hammer and then I'll put uh, the bracelet in this and hit it from the side. But let's try this tool that they sent over with the kit. I'll just show the first one and I'll do the rest off camera again. So you can scratch bracelets with this just make sure you get the pin into the hole before you start turning it all right so we got that one out and let's do the other one kind of like the I don't have much experience with these, but I like to put the hole into this pin first. There we go. I think I got it in there. There we go. You can't see what I'm doing. Pin out of there. Then you need to push it in from the other way, which is 
Oh, now there's no longer no longer arrows on there. I'm gonna push down that way. I think I need to go back in this way. I do have some 24 millimeter NATO straps and I have another bracelet so I'll do a separate video showing those like a little strap show well, I guess a big strap show if they're big straps just trying to get an idea of the size Yeah. All right. I'm going to keep removing links and I'll uh, be right back. I might not have to remove them all. I'm going to try. I'm going to try taking two out. All right. Here it is sized for my six and a half inch wrist. It's a little bit loose, but if I take another one out, it's a little bit too tight. Uh, if you're curious, this is a uh, cooking sheet mat or baking mat, whatever, but it works fine for doing this type of stuff. Silicone mat. I have a link in the description for these. Anyway, here's a zoomed out look at the Ecozilla on wrist with these strap adapters. Uh, 24 millimeter wide and it's 24 all the way down. And I did flip around the bracelet so that it goes on the right way. So let me know what you think of these strap adapters. And um, I'll release another video. I'll wear it for a, a day or two in see what I think of it, see how it holds up, and I'll report out on the uh, weight of this as well. And uh, this tool worked just fine. So let me know what you think of this in the comment section. Do you like it on a strap adapter or do you prefer the, um, the silicone strap? I think it's silicone. But anyway, that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.